when a high school transgender volleyball player who was born as a man injured a biological female, an actual female, in a recent match. It was pretty big news because it just once again highlights what's going on in sports at all levels of sports. And it starts in middle school and high school with schools allowing these things to happen, even with the physical differences that exist between biological men and biological women. That carries forward into college in people, fake victims, pieces of shit like Leah Thomas and all of the controversy surrounding that. And then, of course, inevitably, it becomes a deal in professional sports as well. But you would think that after a North Carolina school canceled all games with that person because they were afraid for the safety of their players, you would think after all the outrage that maybe this person could take a hit and be a little bit apologetic for injuring somebody after hitting them with a volleyball to the face at 70 miles an hour. But instead of that, instead of this transgender player maybe showing a little bit of contrition or humility or anything like that, being apologetic, what does this person do? Trans high school volleyball player uses vicious spike, which seriously injured female opponent in highlight reel. Yes, doubling down, including the one where you gave someone a concussion. When you gave, when someone who was born as a man now identifies as transgender, uh, when you gave a biological female that's there on the court with you a concussion and they have long-term concussion symptoms thrown after being hit in the face by a ball that's going far faster than any you'd see in high school volleyball, Now, I'm going to put that in my highlight reel, in my clips, and then I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And you can see right here, 2020 to 2022 highlights, age 14 through 17. And uh, we can find the moment in question right here. And what do we see happen? Boom! That's in my highlights. That's in my highlight reel when I, you know, injured this person, when I gave them a concussion because of the physical differences. Imagine what a disgusting person you have to be uh, to be proud of this, to be proud as a person that was born a man, to be proud to be injuring a biological female on the court. And the comment section is, uh, is certainly interesting. The pendulum always swings, and for some reason, it swung towards allowing biological men to beat up women and put the mentally challenged on a pedestal. When the pendulum swings back, I expect it to be harsh for those people. Um, What else? I feel bad for all the biological females that have to tolerate this, shaking my head. Uh, Someone pointing out all of the uh, physical differences between men and women here. Um, It's hilarious to hear these proud guys yell in the background, the epitome of living vicariously. This is criminal. That's obscene. Look at the back row attacks. The lower neck combined with the physical size and strength. I'm with Hawassi. Damn, this is a serious safety issue. Uh, wow, uh, this, <laughs> this person's pretty good. No doubt they could be varsity on the boys team. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Amazing how inconsistent with reality this is and everyone's just going to act like it's okay. Why would you include the clip of an athlete's head and neck being injured due to 70 mile an hour spike in a highlight video? What's wrong with you? That's appalling. Over and over and over again. Look at all these comments. Holy shit. Holy shit. Happy now, liberals. All I see is equality and clean play. Be careful what you wish for. Wow, that's an interesting sentiment, isn't it? You know, all the people that have been pushing female athletics for years and years and years who have pushed this stuff on it, even though a lot of people aren't interested, where are you? Where are you to protect female athletics when they're being destroyed right now by people that were born men, by biological men? This is fucking disturbing, and the fact that this person has no contrition whatsoever should tell you everything you need to know. And in reality, we've talked about this before on Sports Wars, we thought that this would stop when someone gets seriously injured. Maybe it'll be when someone dies. Maybe a biological woman, there'll be such a bad accident that they actually die on a court, on a field somewhere before anybody decides to do something about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.